How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Um, tonight we're going to be reviewing a beer we've um, never had before from a brewery we've only had one beer before. before. Um, That's Old Dominion Breweries Candy which is a Belgian style triple. Um, don't really know much about this brewery. Um, I had, they had a, um, it was a stout I had, I forget what it was, but anyway, uh, I had one beer from before, it was alright, it was serviceable, it wasn't too great, it wasn't too, uh, bad, it was somewhere in the middle, um, but yeah, uh, I guess they're kind of making a push to be distributed in this area, or they're a newer brewery, didn't look them up beforehand, just figured I'd do a review, bang it out real quick, this comes courtesy of a friend of mine, I dropped off a couple bottles of their new stuff, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. Again, like we're going to be doing a Old Dominion's Candy um, Belgian Triple, Belgian style ale made in the USA. Brewed and bottled by Old Dominion Brewery, Dover, Delaware. Mika hates it. Um, uh, on the back, we have Dominion Candy, Belgian style triple. Don't be fooled by candy's golden appearance. This Belgian style triple may taste of sugar and spice, but her beguiling introduction is far from nice. Flirting with uh, a covert 9.5% alcohol, so that's pretty nice. 9.5% alcohol, that doesn't suck. Um, that kind of threw me for a loop. I expected to be a little bit um, a little bit less. Really new beer. It says bottling date 7-17-14. Uh, this is uh, August 10th, I believe. Uh, so, I mean, this is beer is less than a month old. So, that doesn't bode well, but hey, if it's a good beer, it's going to taste good right at the shoot. Um... That's pretty much it as far as uh, what's on it. Labeling wise, I get what they're trying to do. It's like your kind of like pinup style um, look. It's not bad. It's not good. It just it needs some work. That's all. Plus, it's kind of weird for me. I mean, they have like a like a bomber in the back, like a plane in the back, and they have like their pinup style girl. But they throw a windmill in it. Like, okay, we're gonna put, throw a pinup girl on there. With like a plane in the back, uh, well, it's a Belgian style of beer. We'll just kind of throw a windmill over there. Maybe they'll make it look Belgian or whatever. This doesn't make sense as far as a Belgian style beer goes. It um, almost seems like it's a beer that they kind of made it overtly sexual. That way somebody picks it up, which is kind of cheesy, but whatever. Anyway, label's not horrible. It just doesn't make really sense. So hopefully the beer makes sense. And if the beer makes sense, who gives a crap what the label's like, even though I'm a label whore. So let's see what we got here. Infinitely the hardest cap I've had to pull off in a while. That is golden color, so we're starting off on a good foot. It's definitely a golden ale. Hmm. Uh, about a finger ahead. White, white, white. No color to it whatsoever. Decent carbonation. Um, super golden in color. So, you know, foot's the bill is a golden. I mean, it says gold, triple ale. Uh, I like my triples a little bit of murkiness to them, but I mean your triples and your Belgian Golden Style is kind of like crisscross paths, so almost semantics at that point. But you know, decent carbonation, nice golden color to it, um, but it's all about the taste and the smell. So let's see what she has nose wise. Uh, very yeasty, but that can be indicative. I mean, that's Belgian style Goldens and triples can be like that. Yeasty. A little bit of hops, just the tiniest bit of hops. Not too much malt, but it's there. A little bit of uh, spiciness to it. And just a hint, 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 hint of citrus. Probably that's about it. But it smells good. It does. It smells really good, actually. I'm kind of going in like a preconceived notion, like I'm not going to like it for some reason. I don't know why. But no, it smells really good. So let's see what she has taste wise. It's not a bad beer. That's a good beer in a sense that it tastes good. It's kind of weird. It has this weird spiciness to it. Um, weird spiciness to it doesn't necessarily make it bad this is an odd flavor to have with a belgian golden and the belgian style triple um almost like a um like a clove i just did um i just did a review of a pumpkin beer but that was a while ago and i had 
like a bunch of water and eat and stuff. So I'm 99% sure that's not running over into this one. Uh, but here, it just has this odd spiciness to it. Uh, a little bit of heat on the back end. You can tell the 9% is there, but it's not overly in your face 9%. Um, but yeah, overall, I kind of, I dig it. Like, it's a good beer. Whether it's a Belgian-style triple um, or a Belgian golden ale, that's up for debate. Uh, I taste somewhere between a Belgian golden and a spiced beer. Um, but... Yeah. I mean, it's good. I mean, it says here sugar and spice. Maybe they're playing off that whole roll. But um, it's definitely the most prominent thing in the beer is that spiciness. So even though it tastes good, it's not uber well balanced because that spiciness, excuse me, is really, really prominent. Um, it's not overly sweet. Other than that, if you were, if you were to dial back that spiciness a bit, it'd probably be like a really, really, really good beer. Um, you know, not overly sweet, decent mouthfeel, even though it's not too dense, um, decent amount of carbonation, feels really good, um, it smells good, it's just that spiciness is just a little bit over the top for me, so, yeah, uh, overall, I mean, it's just tastes, like I said, it tastes like a Belgian style of golden, just mixed with a spice here, so, add some spice to a Belgian golden, that's pretty much what you got going on, um, and as far as rating, I'd probably give it like an 83, Maybe an 83, 84. Um, just because of the spiciness. If you dial back the spiciness, I'd probably push it up in the higher 80s. Uh, so 83, 84. Mm. For as, as availability, never seen it, never bought it. So I'm going to have to give a big NA on both of the uh, value and availability scale. I assume, I, I know that Old Dominion stuff is typically pretty cheap as far as the case goes. So value-wise will probably be pretty good. Especially at almost ten percent. I mean, I'm assuming these cases are going to come in right around forty bucks, if not cheaper. If that's your price point, then I mean, that's pretty good value wise. But like I said, I don't know for sure, so I'm going to have to give it a big NA on that. If I find out in the future, I'll adjust my ratings and and, uh, and writing underneath this review. Yeah. So candy from Old Dominion, definitely not a bad beer. A good beer, just that spiciness is just a little bit too. Too dialed up there. Uh, if they could dial that back, it'd be right on point. Um, so, yeah, another review on the books. Um, I'm Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. If you like Belgian Golden Style Ales with a bit of spice, it might be something you want to check out. And even at its price point, I, it might be a beer that you might find in your, like, mix of sixes. So if you find it, um, it might be worth a whirl. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the review, if you hate the review, if whatever, you can always leave comments and stuff like that in the comment section below. If you want to check us out, other places on the internet, you can at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, Massive Beers, uh, again, as I always say. Instagram, we're typically most active on. Uh, we post all our review updates, but we also post beers that we're drinking and not reviewing, and just random tomfoolery. So if you want to check us out there, follow us. That would be awesome. And, uh, yeah, like I said, another review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a great beer right now, and hopefully we see you next time. Cheers.